from San Giovanni Rotondo on YouTube. Pace bene, peace and goodwill from San Giovanni Rotondo. Hello, 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 hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. I am Brady White, your host. Welcome. I hope that you will enjoy the episodes I have chosen. So, let us sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, it is the last day of the International Eucharistic Congress here in Dublin, Ireland. And I'll tell you, it was exciting. This is the morning prayer and Archbishop Piero Morini, our friend from San Giovanni Rotondo, who was the liturgical celebrant for the Vatican during uh, Pope John Paul's reign. He is a big devotee of Padre Pio. He was brought to San Giovanni Rotondo by Pope John Paul. Anyway, I got to see one of his lectures. The other three were jam-packed. I could not get in. I was determined to get here today in order to see Archbishop Piero Marini. And we'll have the, oh, it's the opening prayer for today's International Eucharistic Congress here in Ireland. So I'll see whatever I can get for you on the video, but join me here for the last day for the opening prayer. Nostro Salvatore, che in Maria Vergine ci ha dato una mediatrice potente, preghiamo con fiducia. Son of Justice, you showed your day was dawning in the Immaculate Virgin Mary. Help us to walk in the daylight of your presence. It is tied to the rising sun whose rich symbolism is so much a part of Celtic culture and Irish Christianity. Truly, in this morning prayer, we celebrate the Lord Jesus, who rose on Easter morning, the true light that enlightens all men and women. the heart of Mary. In this Saturday, following the second Sunday of Pentecost, the Roman liturgy celebrates the memorial of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The expression, Heart of the Virgin, should be interpreted in the biblical sense it points to the very person of Our Lady, the very depths of her being. It points to the source of her interior life, the spirit with which she loved, she loved God and taught us. Today the Church presents Mary as the very model of a new heart, a meek and tumble heart, a heart which is united to God, 
in watchfulness and in prayer. In Mary, the Almighty has lifted up the Lord, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. For this reason, you, O Virgin Mary, are the honor and glory of our people. In union with Mary, we too can rejoice in God, our Savior, and sing at the beginning of each day, Lord, at daybreak, we proclaim your love. For each day, the Father shows us his love by giving us his only Son. We experience the celebration of the sacred mysteries ever anew as a school of love. For here we learn to love everyone, even our enemies, bless those who persecute you, to you. Never cause them, bless them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, be sad with those in sorrow. Our celebration of the liturgy as a community also demands that we show deference to one another for the sake of harmony in this assembly. It demands that we practice humility in order to avoid pride and arrogance. Treat everyone with equal kindness. Never be condescending, but make real friends with the poor. The liturgy teaches us to be witnesses of love. For the way we act will determine how other, others see and come to know God. God himself will appear good and just. The savior of this or that person only if in a given time and place I show myself good and just with that person and thus bear witness to God's saving power. May the Virgin Mary, the model of a heart purified and renewed, help us, help all of us to have a heart made new by love. In this way, we will become for the men and women of our time the arm of Christ. His hands, his eyes, his voice, and above, above all, his heart. Only in this way, in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from the own eye will break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shade of, of death. Archbishop Piero Marini, he will never be able to tell me he does not speak English again because he spoke very well and very clear. Archbishop Piero Morini, our friend from San Giovanni Rotondo, has just spoken very beautiful words here at the Eucharistic Congress here in Dublin Island.
stato una degna dimora dello Spirito Santo nel cuore della Beata Vergine Maria. Per sua intercessione concedi anche a noi, tuoi fedeli, di essere Tempio vivo della tua gloria, per Cristo nostro Signore. Amen. The Lord be with you. Here comes your blessing. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. your morning blessing from Archbishop Piero Morini. I'm telling you, I'm going to joke with him. He can speak English. You've heard him on Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. You've heard him speak English, but now he's like speaking it a hundred percent. Very clear, very good. Archbishop, uh, Archbishop Morini, you can never tell me that you do not speak English again. Your yeah. English was 99% beautiful, and today... Did you understand all? I understood every single thing, 99%. <laughs> Thank you. I tried to go in three times. The people were loaded trying to listen to you, my friend. God bless you. Thank you for all that you do. You are, you are you. just excellent. With the humility that you spoke today and telling us this is the yes. way. Uh, the heart of Mary. The heart of Mary. Okay, God bless you, my friend. Oh. Heart of Christ. <laughs> you said it all. Oh, and there we go. God bless you. Now and forever. God bless you, my friend. Another time. This is the Holy Mass here in Dublin at the International Eucharistic Congress. You can see it is pouring rain. I was not able to get the camera out because of the rain uh, during the Our Father, but you were remembered, you and your intentions were remembered during the Our Father, and now for the Eucharist. I will remember you and your intentions, all those who are watching, hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. The people have gone up into the stands, and I took a spot way behind so I had a little cover here. You'll be with me as I receive the Holy Eucharist here at the International Eucharistic Congress in Dublin. Day six of the Congress. The final blessing on Saturday here in Dublin. Eucharistic Congress. After the shower of grace, <laughs> <laughs> he makes the joke about the rain. <laughs> After the shower of grace, beautiful words. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.
Well, the same theme as Archbishop Piero Marini spoke this morning at the morning prayers, the importance of our Blessed Mother. And in the final blessing here, at the International Eucharistic Congress, the last Mass for Saturday, the Bishop speaks about and includes our Blessed Mother in the final blessing. You were remembered in my Eucharist, you and your intentions. the Salve Regina. Hail, Hail, Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our signs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Well, the procession is actually going uh, the side way again. And here comes the procession. We've made it. Eucharistic Congress here in Dublin. The ending of the Mass. He gives us a nice blessing. The Cardinal there. Yeah, look at that nice group here. Ah, a big crowd today priest today than the, uh, the other day. So it's coming to the end of the International Congress. A little bit of wind. Be happy Padres, happy Bishops. Oh, there actually is a big line here. Archbishop uh, Marini just went by. Oh my goodness, that's uh, so Our Lady of Knock. They sing for the Mass. Beautiful.
See, they're loving this. Look at the priest with this. Beautiful mass today, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. Put your hands together. Well done. Look at this. people here today.
Please join me in the Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Our Lady of Grace, pray for us. Saint Pio, Pray for us. Now remember, you can email us at PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Again, PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs>